What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here. Just a few hours ago, Red Snow 0.9.7 Beta 1 was released and it contained a lot of bugs. So here is my new and updated video for the newly released 0.9.7 Beta 2 which fixes the music and video uh, playback, respringing your iPod or crashing it, as well as the multitasking bug. Now I have got this working perfectly and there's a lot you need to know and first of all what I'm going to tell you is I feel like I'm making this video in vain because in just a few days or hours it can be updated or this video will be outdated because a new version of Red Snow will come out but I make this video for those few that have a Mac and that are willing to do this and Basically, you just want to do this because you hate tethered jailbreaks. So follow through, guys. There's a lot you need to know. Okay, so what you guys need to know, one, if there's a big red banner up here that says click this for a new version of this jailbreak, make sure you click it, and that will take you to a newer version of uh, this jailbreak because this video will be outdated very soon but in the meantime anyone that's willing to untether their device with a sacrifice I'll let you know how to do that right now okay so Bluetooth is still disabled I know that's a bummer guys I use it a lot but it is disabled for now in the future of course it will be fixed and you won't even have to restore your device you will just have to go through red snow again to fix it and it's not that big of a deal I'd rather not have Bluetooth than have to connect my iPod or iPhone or even iPad to a computer every time I have to boot it so that's not a really negative thing for me although it is something that I really want but it will be back in the future so it's not that big of a deal what you guys must have is a Mac this is not Windows compatible yet I'll post a new video for Windows when it becomes available but another thing you must have on your device is the 4.2 beta 3 SHSH file saved in Cydia so when you open up Cydia you must see that little 4.2 beta 3 symbol right there if you've jailbroken on 4.1 or anything before that you most likely will have that if you click make my life easier right here and one of the very negative things guys is you must have the iOS 4.2.1 beta 3 firmware for your device which I cannot legally share with you so there will not be a link for that in the description uh, either Torrents or Google is your friend for that guys I really cannot share that with you and I know it's a bummer but you just have to look anywhere to get it and once you've got that you also need your official 4.2.1 firmware as well as Red Snow 0.9.7 beta 2 all on your desktop before we get started I cannot stress this enough this is beta this is not meant for a public release that means if you're doing this you you're really just testing it out on your device this is not fully tested and you are risking your device or any bug that may happen on your device it is because it is beta guys please don't complain in my comments why one thing or another is not working if it's not just be patient till the new version of a jailbreak or this red snow comes out and I'll post a video but again please don't comment it is beta and a big thanks for the dev team who is making this making it all available to us thanks dev team okay so what you will need guys is of course red snow 0.9.7 beta 2 your official 4.2.1 firmware for your device in the 4.2 beta 3 firmware as well which again I cannot share with you you must locate it on either Google or wherever you may look and we will need to be installing USB MUXD in order for us to communicate with our device through terminal and I will give you a link you must download it of course and you'll click save file and make sure it saves in your downloads and it will be in our downloads guys and extract it make sure it's still in our downloads in the folder you could just leave it like that now what we'll be doing is we're heading over to red snow and we're browsing for the official 4.2.1 firmware and once you've got it selected it's gonna process it for a bit and then we're gonna click next in the meantime you can turn your device off and make sure it's off to save a little time and now unless you want battery percentage for your device for your iPod touch we're just gonna 
click install Cydia and jailbreak Monte and it does not matter if you have Cydia on 4.2.1 or if you do not have it you're on a fresh restore 4.2.1 but we will be selecting the 4.2 beta 3 firmware now once you have selected those two options in red snow keep it like that do not press next do not proceed now we have to use terminal to communicate with the downloaded files that we just downloaded in order to communicate with our device and go ahead and open up terminal which you can find in utilities and when you open it up it will look just like this it'll have your and it should look somewhat like this and don't type in anything I will guide you through what we need to type if you don't get it I have the whole thing in the description and you'll just need to type it in exactly as it is now first thing we're gonna do is CD space forward slash users let me zoom in on this and you know, move that a little bit over and now type in users so CD space forward slash users slash now put in your username mine is just user and then type forward slash downloads forward slash USB MUXD slash 1.0.6 forward slash Python slash client and press enter now it should look just like this and it will have your username right there now next thing we're going to type in is chmod space plus x space tcp relay r e l a y tcp relay dot p y enter next what we're going to type in is dot forward slash oops forward slash tcp relay dot p y space slash t space two two colon two 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 and this is what it will look like you press enter and and I'm getting an error right now because I have this one open in the same place but this is what it will look like it will say forwarding local port and that's what it will look like guys so once you've got that open you're good if you didn't get that it's all in the description make sure you put in your username where you need to and now we go back to red snow and click next make sure your device is off we are putting it into DFU mode now and next power button for three two one combined with home button for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and release the power button and keep holding the home button and I'd recommend you hold it throughout the entire process on the computer as it does help and makes it more stable. And it does take a while to prepare the jailbreak Monte files, but as long as you have this open and exactly written as I have told you guys, then it will work perfectly. And it does take a while, so I will be back as soon as it begins progressing. Okay, so the jailbreak on my iPod is almost done. Uh, on the computer, it's done. So if you're holding the home button, you can, of course, let go. But it is progressing, and this is normal what you guys should see. Uh, the next thing that should happen is your device will reboot into the normal state. And in just a second here, we should boot up. And you will know that your device is untethered because Cydia will not be crashing. And here we go, guys and we are back up and running now for some reason my device got stuck on that little pineapple square with a little loading icon right there all I did was hold home and power for 10 seconds till it flashed and then I let go of the home button and kept holding the power button to boot it but all in all still good I got Cydia and again this is beta so there are bugs guys and I do have Cydia everything went through fine I'm sorry if this video was a little long I had to make sure everyone understood the risks guys this is a jailbreak that is could be dangerous it is in beta uh, I would not definitely would not recommend it if you are not savvy with these iPhones and iPods so make sure that you know what you're doing guys while you're doing this and thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe and I really hope you get 
to finish this successfully and untether your device. So have fun, guys.